morning, long, lazy morning, types of morning that you dream about having more and more of in your life. What do we do today? What are we going to do? Um, I think that we're going to we're going to rent a bike. Rent a bike. Yep. Hire a bike, as they say, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, you're going to bike through Crazy Anthony. Yeah. Uh, we're going to the north to NDSM. Mm-hmm. It's an industrial area and it's pretty cool there. And we're going there to find the perfect spot next to the river, mm. relax, mm. And enjoy ourselves. And yeah. Does chill. this include uh, good food and good coffee? Yes. Good. Good. It's part of what we do here on the Spiritual Playboy. We visit countries and we have good food and good coffee. And in Amsterdam, great weed. Weed report. Dun 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 dun. You don't smoke weed. Rarely. Why? <laughs> I'm too sensitive. Yes. Highly energetic. There's <laughs> very few people I, I know that um, relates with energy on the level that you do. Yeah. Back to Amsterdam. <laughs> We're going to Amsterdam, north of Amsterdam. We're going to hire a bike, chill out, food, coffee. So we are getting ready to go for coffee at White Label Coffee. Shout out to Evelyn. White Label Coffee, White Label Designs. And uh, a croissant maybe? Let's do that or we'll just take for lunch. Now let's go have a croissant and coffee and then we go for lunch. Yes. Yes? Awesome. Joyce is making me wear these glasses. What do you think? So how are you feeling? You do a lot of events here in Amsterdam. I do some events, yes. Yesterday you seemed to be really popular, like mm. people knew you. So that was that your, your your community? Was that people you knew? How many of the percentage do you know? How much percentage of those people did you know? There are people that I meet in, in various uh, communities, yeah. It's either from festivals or from club light scene, aesthetic dance, or it is from tantric communities. And so why does everybody know you? That's because that's they're just meeting you there? Because I give several workshops. So you give several workshops. Yeah. So I'm yeah. And, and so they I'm see me to, on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to bring her out to like let her own the fact that she does a lot of workshops and she's very active. And you know, it's there's a there's a place for humility, and then there's a place for like owning what you do and the impact you're making. Yesterday you made a huge impact. People, let me tell you. People will not forget that workshop from yesterday. It was incredible. Um, a great group of people, vibrationally the people were, were amazing. Big group of people in a very small place for a very short time. But she dropped us in. You dropped us in, you yeah. What was your intention going into that workshop? My intention was that they were really trusting and opening up to their own life force energy by being able that uh, they first will feel into themselves, into their own body and that they will trust their own body in any, any form of relating so if they don't know how to listen and read the signs of their own body they cannot yeah, relate in that same beautiful space actually that sacred space with another person so that's was my intention to to work on mm. to give that foundations foundations yeah. and so I, I wasn't standing where you were she was standing on the, on the table the room was so full yeah, there's no to. place there's only the table <laughs> and she took it like a rock star yeah. I'm like what what there's a rock star here anyways so um, from your place on the table how did it look 
I could feel the energy. I was, I was like, like serving on the energy. I was, oh, it was awesome. to contain the water level in the old days. Around Amsterdam we had a hundred of windmills and this is one of the three remaining ones. This was not the original place, it was... Uh, trans yeah. It was moved? It was moved, yeah. Because this is a better school place. Now it's not used as an original windmill anymore. They were actually living inside. And in the war times they were using uh, the... Yeah, the signs. There's signs for letting each other know that the Nazis were in the neighborhood and that they had to hide the Jews that were uh, behind hiding. Mm. A lot of the Jews went into the uh, countryside. It says, Gebrouwen door vrouwen, boos and booms. It has been brewed by women. By women, that's where the triangle is. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, cheers. Cheers. 